Hi guys and welcome to the video. In this tutorial video, we're gonna be adding a distressed look to some text and a graphic using Adobe Illustrator. If you want a free template, head to the first link in the description. There is a distressed graphics template that I've created just for you and you can access that by hitting the link in the description and filling in your details. Inside Adobe Illustrator, I have created a brand new document which is A4 and I've just applied a background color. I've also created a text layer and added this text layer to it. And once I've created that text layer, I've just expanded it. So it's now a graphic rather than a text layer. So once you've done that, what we need to do is we need to grab a distressed graphic and apply it to this text layer. So if you've downloaded the template, you'll find a dust and scratcher layer in the layer panel. And it'll look something like this. We need to grab that layer and apply it to the text. So to do that, I'm going to click on the graphic, so it's there in the background. So you can go Edit Copy or Command C if you want to do shortcuts. So Command C, we switch off that layer, go back to our text layer, which is text before, if you're following along. Grab the text, and we're using the Transparency tab. If to access that, it's Window and then Transparency. Once you've got your text selected, click on this box here. It says double click to create and edit an opacity mask. So that's what we're applying to this graphic. So to apply that opacity mask, double click on there and your graphic will tend to disappear. It's not gone. All we need to do is Command F, which is paste in front and it apply the graphic to your text. Now we're still inside the opacity mask, so we need to come out of that by double clicking on this stop editing button. So double click that, we're now back to our normal layer. But we can actually change the color of this, the different colors. So it's fairly flexible once you've applied your distressed look to it. You can also change the color of your background and to anything you like, anything that really suits the graphic that's not too garish, which is that. Um, so it's fairly flexible in terms of what you want to do with it. Right, we'll turn that one off. We're going to apply the same thing to a graphic. So I've got a graphic here, the same thing. I'm just going to repeat the entire process. So here's my graphic. I need a dust and scratches type graphic to apply to it. So I've got the dust and scratches layer. Open that up. Click on it. Command C to copy. Turn the layer off. Turn the graphic layer back on, or any graphic that you've created yourself. Click on that, double click on this opacity mask, disappears, Command F, applies the texture to your graphic. We double click on this here to stop editing, and there we have our graphic. Again, we can change the color of the graphic and the background to something that you like. I've also taken the time to create a handy distressed graphics pack in Illustrator, which includes 15 different dust and scratch templates that you can apply to your graphics and your logos. This high quality template makes it really easy to apply. In no time at all, you can get the desired distressed look for your text and graphics. You can access this via my website at paulgreenwood.co.uk forward slash shop. Hope you got something out of this video guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you like creative vlogs and tutorials. There's a couple of other Illustrator tutorials that I've done which I'll put on the screen now. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thanks for watching.